Hello, my name's Stuart Thew. I'm Lee Asprey. And we're here today outside Smurford Kappa in West Auckland. And we're going to be talking about yeah, arson reduction. It's Business Fire Safety Week. Um, what sort of things are we going to be looking at today? Well, we're, we're looking at uh, reduction of arson uh, for the business itself. We're also going to look at waste management and we're going to look at site security. Okay. So here we are Business Fire Safety Week um, and we're talking about arson reduction in particular today Lee. Yeah. Um, what do we have in front of us here? We have a great big pile of fuel, that's <laughs> exactly what we've got. Uh -huh. um, I appreciate it's rubbish um, and it's probably a byproduct from deliveries etc that companies have all the time. Yes. But leaving it like this in this mass uh, with this big surface area that it's got, this is just a big fuel source waiting for somebody to come along and start a fire. So what things can we put in place to sort of mitigate a fire start? Well, first thing is that this shouldn't be here, just get rid of it. And uh, the easiest way to do that would be to flat pack each one of these boxes, fold them back to uh, a completely flat entity, stack them up mm -hmm. and take them away from this area. We see that they're piled up on pallets. The pallets and the boxes are too close to this outer wall. Right. Um, so if we get them flat onto a pallet and maybe stored somewhere else, somewhere safe. Right, that's a quite an easy job for us to do, isn't it? We can easily do that in two minutes. That's in two minutes to get rid of all of this uh, and uh, you take that risk away straight away. Right. So we've explained about um, getting the size of the, the, the package down, the fuel package down, getting as flat as possible, low surface area. Yeah. What are the safety things to consider? Well, the next thing really is, is where you're going to put your rubbish. So. Right. Uh, this would be the ideal. That's you know, gold standard we're talking about. This is already. absolute gold standard, so a nice steel uh, waste receptacle uh -huh. and then you put a padlock on it, obviously for security. We don't want anything else in there other than what your, your, your waste products. Obviously, not every company can afford such a, such a luxury. Yeah. What other things can we, uh, we put in place? Well, it depends. I mean, if they're just using standard wheelie bins, etc., yeah. that's fine. It all depends on the waste that you're producing. But that bin, this bin, needs positioning in the right position. So it doesn't want to be too close to the structure. Yeah. Put it off somewhere safe and, and secure it where you can. Now that might be something simple, just as a, a bicycle lock will be enough for yeah. a standard wheelie bin. Fix it against the post or against the wall, away from your building, and that would do. And it's some sort of compound if possible as well. That would be, again, you know, wherever you, you possibly can. But away from your building, reducing your risk every time. So to go along with um, arson reduction, physical security, things that we can put in place to uh, deter would be arsonists. What sort of things have we got in place? Well, obvious things would be lighting, CCTV, uh -huh. and some form of physical barrier, so a fence to start with, clearly. Uh, but after that, uh, maximum lighting, illuminate the areas where uh, your risks are, certainly the areas where your bins are, and you want CCTV as well. Um, that's going to add an additional level of protection and security, but more importantly, it's a big deterrent. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, yeah. kids, arsonists, wherever, are not going to come onto the site if they think they're going to be seen mm -hmm. and recorded as well. So that's the big pluses of those uh, useful security measures. And signage as well. Signage is a good deterrent to say, look out, CCTV is yeah. in the area. Every time, yeah. So last thing at night, all businesses need a shutdown procedure. Yeah. So what kind of things can we um, can we put in place on shutdown procedure? Well, we're back to physical security. Sure. Yeah. Doors and windows are secure and locked uh, wherever possible. Definitely. All your lighting and CCTV is up and running and ready to go. You've locked your your, uh, your bins or your bin security area, wherever it is you've got, and you've removed anything that can be of any value at all for uh, somebody to come onto your site and steal it or come onto your site and then set fire to it. So all of that's done, it's checked, um, and you have a set procedure for someone leaving that site and finally securing the outer gates if that's what you've got. But that way, everything's checked, you know it's secure, and that process is um, replicated every single every night. Single. We have, a, we have a disaster recovery plan where we, we looked at, we've got a backup IT system that will allow us to work from another building. Uh, we've contacted the local company down the road that would give us office space in, in, in that event. 
We would also contact our, our uh, other uh, factories within the UK to help produce product until we got up and running again. It's all involved in the, in, in the disaster plan.